The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From D-Generation X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. And his opponent, from parts unknown, weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane. Looking out at the countless members of the WWE Universe in attendance, they are all here because of matches like this one. The Cerebral Assassin can turn your emotions against you. This superstar has got to be laser-focused here tonight. And it's time to play the game, as they say, as Triple H begins this contest. Triple H calls himself the game for a reason, and that's because he sees the entire board. Nobody knows the ins and outs of a ring and the boardroom better than him. This is a man who maneuvered his way to the top in the office and who bludgeoned his way to the top in the ring. He didn't just earn his status as an icon, he took it from everybody else. And perhaps the next thing Triple H will take is another victory here tonight. Yeah, but he's taken on a superstar with a mean streak a mile wide. I know I wouldn't want to be in the ring with this guy. From the top, through the air, and connects! Just crashing down with high impact. Powerful spine buster. Triple H is a very specific way he likes to wrestle a match, Corey. How do you stop yourself from getting swept up and pardon the expression, his game? Triple H is all about the deep water. He likes to wear your body down because he knows once that happens, your mind follows, and he can pretty much do what he wants. You don't want to play that game? Keep up the pace and don't let him control it. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. He's getting a little batter now. Oh, and he stays ahead of Triple H. Knee right to the gut. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. From the top, diving clothesline finds the mark. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Kicks out. He still has life. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Here it comes. 
Oops. Uh-oh. Fans off the attack with an elbow. Triple H showing it's not a time for lying down. It's a time for fighting back. Things have really broken down in this rivalry, guys. I don't even know if there's even any rhyme or reason anymore. These superstars just want to destroy each other. Yeah, and while that's a fine motivation for a horror movie villain, all logic is seemingly fallen out the window in this rivalry. All that's driving them is emotion. The emotion to destroy each other. Triple H reversing the momentum on him. He's open to start a rush of his own with that attack. Vertical suplex. Nice. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Oh. Insulting. And now, after that, look at the story painted red on Triple H's face. The game struggling. Triple H at the mercy of his opponent. What is he going to Here it comes. Looking for Joke slam. Thunderous. Makes the cover. The game down. Might be in for Triple H. Triple H got the shoulder up in the nick of time. Incredible awareness to remain in this matchup. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Triple H dodges that one. Snap suplex, very effective. This match grinded him down a little. Yeah, Triple H just unleashed a bludgeoning on his opponent. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle has been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. And he tosses him back in now. Lariat. Triple H has turned his attention to the WWE faithful. Kick to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. Tagged with a punch. You see the trademark dominance of Triple H. Triple H is just plain brutal. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh. And the cover for the win. This is it. And he only stays down for a one count. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Strong impact from Triple H. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Wheels turning. What does the Cerebral Assassin have in store? The game with the double underhook. Here we go. Pedigree. That's the game changer. some match, right? You could say that again. Hands raised in victory, but this superstar wants more. Wants to inflict more damage on his defeated opponent. Can somebody explain the point of this to me? There is no point. Of course, there's ridiculous. a point. It's called reminding the guy you just beat up that it was you, and you'd do it again if you could. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, Brad Shaw. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. And his opponent from Houston, Texas, Weighing in at 251 pounds, the Superstar. You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. He said he'll be making a statement in this match tonight and will deliver it emphatically. You can see by the look on his face that he came here tonight to send a message. He's certainly determined to prove a point, and that's that he should be on top. Well, he has the opportunity to prove that point tonight, Corey. We'll see if he's all involved. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully, he'll get it tonight. Right across the back of the neck. How's that for a counter? Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. From behind. Back suplex. Uh-oh, getting ready to... Right to the back of the neck. Able to avoid there. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. And did you hear the impact of that? Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. From behind. Hooks six it. up. Inverted DDT. Power slam. Good night. He's absorbed some damage already. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh, what a clothesline. Oh, kick right to the gut. Another, and another one. one. Clothesline. Nice combo. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? He turns it around. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, I got. I know what's next. Action! Man! Just like he and that's gotta be it. Two! And they're still in this! I can't believe it. This whole arena's in shock. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than... Top row. Hold on, hangover. Sucker. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Oh, my God. I know what's next. Action. Man. How do you come back from that? Makes the cover. Here is your winner, the Superstar. He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. With a win like that, he just stood up and commanded the attention of everyone in the WWE Universe. I think they've noticed, Byron.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, CM Punk. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, the lunatic, Dean Amber Rose. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. Funny games, clearly not on his mind here tonight. He's got one focus in this matchup here, and that's to secure the win at any cost. Yeah, but he's staring at someone who's shown a lot of hustle to be in this spot, whether he's studying tape or spending extra time at the PC. Oh, it could be nap time. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. He doesn't have long to get out of his sleeper hold, but he's figuring it out. Whoa! Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Now that'll do some serious damage. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Great reversal. Vicious right forearm. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Oh, I think we're going to... Uh-oh. One step ahead with the suplex. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Oh my God! Oh, does he have him here? Quick count after one. He's still got life in this matchup. Big forearm. Boom. One coming took advantage. Into the corner. This can't be good. And the Bulldog. Shoulders down. Oh my God, he's still in the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. He's got him scouted. 
This feud is starting to become one of those that will go down in history. Clashes like this are what puts names in the Hall of Fame, Cole. I'm just glad we get to watch it firsthand. Job. Good night. He's taking some good hits. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Alley oop. Had that one scouted. What a punch. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Going for the X-Plex, man! From behind, back suplex! Reversal! Can he take advantage? Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh! Right across the throat. Ooh, elbow strike. He is just reeling from that offense. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is... He's going for the pin. This could be it. A defiant kick out after one. Wow, I thought this was over. Setting up again. Butterfly DDT. So glad I bet on him to win. For the win! Two! Oh, a kick out, kick out at two. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that maneuver be summoned at least one more time? Tremendous pressure applied. Cole does it better. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. This is outright disrespectful. The heart of these competitors is showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. This fight has made its way to the entranceway. Oh, man, so many things can go wrong now. He steps foot in the ring again, and we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. We could have been looking at a count out there. Yeah, you just know that would have been a deflating result for the WWE Universe. thought that was three. Boom, right the button. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Taken down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great, by now the arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, face first. Is he going to lock this in? And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Launching. Oh, the elbow drop! Look at him seizing the momentum here. It's been a smothering attack keeping him ahead. And some effective offense with that one. Uh-oh. Vicious knee drop. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He deflects it right back. Big boot. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. A much needed big move. Man, that was some match, right? You could say that again.
Hands raised in victory, but this superstar wants more, wants to inflict more damage on his defeated opponent. Can somebody explain the point of this to me? There is no point. Of course there's ridiculous. a point. It's called reminding the guy you just beat up that it was you, and you'd do it again if you could. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, the Divas Champion. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. A promising rookie in the women's division. And I'm sensing an edge to her. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane. A bright future for this young woman. Yeah, but she needs to stop focusing on skateboarding and start getting mean. If Cora wins tonight, maybe she'll do some skating after the match. Or maybe she'll crack that skateboard over your back. It's been a long time since we've seen a champion of this caliber. Yeah, but without the title on the line here tonight, Cole, I don't think there's any reason for the champ to go all out. Most champions aren't known for phoning it in, Corey. I don't think this champ is any different. And she's facing off against one of WWE's shrewdest competitors in Cora Jade. That shrewdness, as you put it, Saxton, is what it takes to succeed in WWE. I know it, you know it, and Cora Jade knows it. She's built a tremendous foundation for success. There's a crucifix, nicely done. A uh, nice hip toss right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. Corey, Cora Jade has become known for her toughness in the ring. You can't put her down easily, so how do you break through and do it? Cora Jade's just that stubborn, Cole. In fact, the key's to be more stubborn than she is. Just stay on her. Don't let up. Don't let her breathe. It might take a lot to beat her down for the count, but if you stay on it, you might come out victorious. Cora just can't stop this attack. She's been taking the fight to Cora Jade and is now thriving as a result. Staying on Cora and not letting her breathe right now. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Oh my! She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. Russian leg sweep. Right to the back of the neck. Thrown back in under the ropes. Bad predicament right here. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Jade is wasting no motion. One attack after another from Jade. Oh, nice. 
deep arm drag. Ooh, what a forearm. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Hands clasped across the face. STF is in. The submission is locked in deep. She won't fade. She just won't fade. She keeps fighting. Using the elbow as a weapon in the cover. No, shoulders up at two. Just barely, but it counts. Kick right to the midsection. Forearm right to the jaw. Oh my goodness. She can end it here. Stops the count before it, too. A truly impressive kick out this late. Oh, nice deep arm drag. Big forearm. Ooh, man, what a hit. That's got to hurt. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Arm breaker! Oh. Hits the drop kick. Ooh. Jade with the quick wherewithal. Trap, but she gets away. Oh, all tangled up inside. Face buster. Jade must be phased after this string of action. Jade needs to find a trick in her playbook now. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. She's on her last legs here. Not what you want to see by any means. And now there's an opening. She's trying one more time. Into a double R DDT. Can Jade close things out? Looking for the victory. Two count and a kick out. Her perseverance is unreal. Preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. Big maneuver executed perfectly, but still was not enough. Driven down face first. Ah, Jade fell right into that one. There's a crucifix, nicely done. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Ooh. Oh. She bails in a hurry. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Schoolboy. Nope. nope. Rolls through. Super kick. Laura J just soaking it in, feeding off that energy from the WWE Universe. Oh, a step up in Zagari. And Cora batters the competition further here. Jade looking to keep that momentum up through the wear and tear. Into a power bomb. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Into an elbow drop. Kick to the gut creates separation. Right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. As their opponent hooked, and handles slam. That can be Jade's demise. Two. What a win for this superstar. An incredible matchup, highly competitive. 
And this superstar certainly earned the right to be the victor. Oh, whoa. Got a steel chair. Come Wear on. Your opponent out. This is too far. A statement made tonight. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the Superstar. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction, perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big time match. His opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the Superstar. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Guys, we have a superstar that is molded to be the next big thing. While he might be molded, he can still use a little refining. If he can harness that potential, we're looking at the next big thing. Sure, a little rough around the edges, Corey, but there's something that comes with time and experience. Yeah, but he's going against shoulders down for the count. Not even a two count for him. Stretching out the knee. Oh. oh. And an elbow. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. And he sends him into the corner. Close line in the corner. Uh-oh. And finds a counter. And down with the suplex. Punch. He's getting fired up now. Really feeding. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. No, oh, not pretty. Now he's been put on the defensive. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Oh, that might have just broken something.
Oh, you can tell he's... Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Oh, look at that scope slam. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Short clothesline hits its mark. Oh, man, what a boot. He had it scouted. Elbow. Face first. Now oh, setting up. It's locked in. The Koji clutch. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap back? He's trapped. How's he gonna get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Paying it right back with a reversal. Look out! Slingshot cross body? That was ridiculous. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. A oh, torturous knee. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Climbing up top. He's from the top. Catches nothing but air. Close fist connects. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. He's got the answer for that one. Put in a position now. Oh, God. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Kick to the gut. Hoisting up their opponent for a pump handle slam. Will it be? Stopping the refs counted too. He just won't give up. Stalking a downed opponent. Here it comes. Turning point right here. Cover! Two! Near fall! He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Targets the gut to end the offense. Oh, my God, what an elbow. Athleticism. The end is looming now. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. Oh, face stop. Went into the corner. And a big boot. Oh, oh, man. All he has to do is capitalize. Cover. Oh, and he just kicked out. Oh, that was more than close. That was inches away from three. Millimeters. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you got to do a little more to finally fit. Oh! Nobody does it better. Cover! Oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here is your winner. The Superstar! And he certainly proved himself a superstar to watch with this one. They are riding high on this win. This celebration might carry on the rest of the month. Here comes the leader of the C Nation. Already so many accolades for this young man. And believe me when I say, John Cena is only getting started. The following 
is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! A man who has captured multiple world titles, headlined WrestleMania, and I'm starting to believe John Cena just cannot be stopped. This man has already captured multiple world titles. He has a hit rap album, and I heard he may even try acting. Well, that doesn't work out for John Cena. He always has a home here in WWE. You doubt Cena, Saxton? Hey, John, Saxton says you're not going to make it in Hollywood. No, qu quiet, Michael. John, I wasn't saying that, I swear. He's too cool. Well, watch out for the stink face. From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rikishi! Not only an all-time great, but the father of Jimmy and Jey Uso, the real person responsible for their tag team prowess, Saxton. And their dance moves, too. Hey, guys, you think Rikishi would give me a dance lesson? Absolutely not, Saxton. With any luck, you'll get a stink face. No, no, Rikishi wouldn't do that to me. One of the OGs of the bloodline and the pride of Samoa. <laughs> and he'll back it up in more ways than one. Rikishi may be best known for busting a move and delivering stink faces, but when he needs to, the Samoan superstar is capable of some pretty brutal attacks. Yeah, if you look past all of Rikishi's goofy antics, you'll see a warrior who is as tough as they come. Looking for an early pin. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. He needs to deal more damage before trying that again. Laying out with a power slam. He can end it here. He's got him. Fights the shoulder up at one. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oh, gut punch. Nasty. Oh, look at this. Larry. Oh, man. Inside out. You have to admit, when John Cena's in action, it's almost like a handicap match for his opponents. The WWE Universe is just as much a factor in Cena's matches as he is himself. That has to be a lot for anyone to overcome, Corey. Yeah, there's something to be said about the power of the WWE Universe when they're as supportive of the superstar as they are of Cena. The crowd gets behind him when he gets rolling, and he feeds off of the crowd in return. If you can prevent Cena from getting that sort of energy going, he'll definitely be at a disadvantage. Setting up. Rikishi has the firm upper hand. Really preventing Cena from thriving off of the energy of the crowd. He's struggling to find that energy anywhere now. And Rikishi with a counter. Vicious right forearm. And Cena's opposition isn't showing any sense of intimidation with that maneuver. Rikishi looks ferocious going on the attack there. Close line. So effective. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Caught with a DDT. Elbow drop. Piercing. Big elbow. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. You see why they call him Big Matt John. Yeah, the greatest of all time. John Cena, the 16-time world champion! Man! And that was an effective attack, guys. Bam! Oh, strong knee connects.
Oh, Cena got caught with the reversal. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And go! Oh! Rikishi hoisting up his opponent. Rikishi driver. That could end Cena right now. Is it enough? The cover! Cena knows the situation. He knows what this win will mean for his opponent, but he's refusing to give it to him. Listen, that should have been... Cena powers him up, driving him in the canvas with the attitude adjustment. Is that all Cena needs? And that will end it. Here is your winner, John Cena. That may be one of the most important wins I've seen in recent memory. I agree, Corey. A huge victory tonight. John Cena won tonight, showing the true power of hustle, loyalty, and respect. Why do I have this terrible vision in my mind of you cosplaying as Brie Bella Saxton? It's a possibility. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, Brie Bella! Hey, you got to admire someone who has the guts to slap their own boss. Are you kidding me, Saxton? I would much rather admire my paycheck. Former women's champion and the inventor of twin magic. Uh, Cole Nikki invented twin magic. Bree just copied her. The epitome of glamour and ability. Eve Torres. And from Denver, Colorado. Eve Torres. Eve is a natural-born competitor who possesses crazy athleticism and an amazing in-ring IQ. Eve Torres is the real deal. Eve Torres, an expert at finding weakness and exploiting it. A woman who turned her back on the WWE Universe and never looked back. It was the best decision she ever made. Laying people out with a smile and a pose. That's the bell, and it's Brie Bella set for action here tonight. Brie, the more risk-taking sister of the Bella Twins, not afraid to go to the top rope and fly. Not afraid to crash and burn either, which is her prerogative, I guess, but definitely the type of thing that could spell disaster for her in this one. Yeah, but going Brie mode, as it were, has also paid major dividends from Brie Bella over the years, Corey. Yeah, then there's Eve Torres, who's almost as crafty in the ring as she is outside of it. Eve's not someone to take lightly because she seemingly always is just one step ahead of the competition, for better or worse. There is no worse, Saxton, just strategy, which Eve has in spades. Pay attention. I gotta be careful not to get disqualified. A bit of jaw jacking from Brie Bella here, and we'll see if she can back it up. Stops the kick. Oh, what a close lock. That obviously wasn't a part of Eve's strategy. Yeah, as that bold style of Brie Bella was really on display there. Eve Torres, really one of the top athletes of the old school Divas division. What do you think is the best path to upsetting her tonight? Eve was ahead of her time with her grappling skills, but you can argue the game has risen to her level now. If you keep it a fight and don't let her take you to the mat, you can keep her out of her element. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss it up. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Cover. Two. Just gets the shoulder up. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Caught in a bad position here. Planted face first.
Oh my, dragon screw into the ankle breaker. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Boom! And it's Brie Bella that goes for the ride. Caught with a punch. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. She's from the top. Elbow drop. Will this be enough? Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. God, oh, driven face first. Ooh, what a forearm club. <laughs> Debilitating attack on the leg. Lots of intensity from Brie Bella being shown right now. Eve just really getting out fought here. Having a hard time taking control of this match. DDT plants them. Watch out. The dive. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Eve with the counter. Torres reversing the momentum on her. Yeah, Torres' survival instincts are taking over. Didn't go as planned there, right across the face. Oh, hello. What a punch. <laughs> Setting up. Oh, vicious Russian leg sweep. Right into the barricade. And gets tossed back into the mat. Count out imminent. She needs to get back in. Here we go. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Tough position to be caught in here. Down on the windpipe. She's taking some big hits here. Caught with a clothesline. So much damage inflicted. Oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Targeting the ankle. <laughs> Setting the sights on the leg with that. Bree is having. And this has got to be it. Shoulder shoots up before two. She is not done yet. Nice arm drag. Buster. Will that clinch things for Brie? Ten. Finally over. Here is your winner, Brie Bella. A big win and the celebration has begun. She came into this match with one thing on her mind. And would you look at that? It came to fruition. Welcome to the USO Penitentiary! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the USOs from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy USO! You know, Jimmy USO lost over a year of his career due to injury. And when Uso returned, he returned to a vastly different landscape for both his brother and his cousin. Uso picked up right where he left off. A different landscape, same high-level competitor.
and his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. One word that describes Jimmy Uso is loyal. He is completely unwavering in his dedication to his family and the Hall of Fame lineage he hails from. Yeah, Uso takes a lot of well-deserved pride in his background, and he knows it raises expectations for his own performance. And that combination of pride and a willingness to push himself beyond his limits has always paid off big for Jimmy Uso. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully, he'll get it tonight. And there was some... He thinks he has it! And he kicks out of the pen and one. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Oh my gosh. That don't stop anybody. Ow. Foot, meet, back. And Jimmy now is dictating the pace. Jimmy displaying a lot of intensity. Forearm just raking across the face. Headbutt! He's lost some of his win now. Jimmy took plenty of pride in dissing out that pain. Oh, oh are you kidding, kidding me? kidding me. Back of his neck. Oh, man. Oh, God, that hurt. Corey, I'm wondering, is there any possible weakness of Jimmy Uso's that you could see being exploited here in this one? We know Jimmy loves to get the pace going, loves to get high octane. We also know just how much that can lead to crashing and burning. So you need to play it smart. Pick your spots. So Jimmy crashed. Shoulders down! Breaks the count. How in the world did he kick out? Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Elbow drop. A drop kick in the corner. Perfectly executed. Into the corner now. Oof. This their opponent's uh -oh. legs. And just, that's a free fall. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. Right on their face. From the outside, avoiding contact. Popped up. Jimmy Uso with a Samoa. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Three, no, a kick out just in time. Both competitors digging into wells they didn't even know existed. Jimmy Uso splash. 
Jimmy might have just finished things. Cover. And Jimmy Uso picks up the win. Here is your winner, Jimmy Uso. Tremendous showing tonight for Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso showed why he has the entire WWE locker room on lockdown. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina. Weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Harvey. Not since John Cena have we seen a superstar as resilient and perseverant as this one right here. I could not agree more. Give me a break. Cena may never give up, but you two never give up when it comes to hyperbole. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. And his opponent, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 236 pounds, Matt Corby. This is a competitor who isn't happy with a win unless they get a handshake from their opponent afterwards. A real respect for the business. Can they even work their hands properly? Apparently, they lack a spine. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. Some have called this superstar a bit too intense, and as we can already see from the look in his eyes, there's a reason why. In this business, intensity often breeds success, and he is well aware of that. He's hoping that focus and drive really propel him to success. Yeah, but he's going against the superstar who refuses to ever back down from a fight, refuses to back down from any challenger. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed in that regard, but you have to appreciate his willingness to keep on fighting. German suplex! Oh, right in there. He has him locked in. Oh, what a shot. Will it be? No, stops the count at two. Obviously still has some fight left. Placing them into the corner. Oh, an overhand punch. Here we go. Start the count. Any more punches and sacks is going to have to take his shoes off the count. Uh, able to counter. Ooh. Don't do it! Sinton hits the target! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. just continuing to dismantle their opponent. 
God! Northern Lights! Kick to the gut. Oh, sit out, jawbreaker. Eating through a straw for a week. And this one might be headed ringside. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Measured knee drop. Boom, what impact. Able to, uh oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great win. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Oh, strong impact. Oh, had it scouted and met with a back elbow. And we just saw some serious offense. Skull. And there's the cover. Top barely kicks out. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. To the sky. Oh, God. He's on his heels a bit now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. This is what you call high risk, high reward. We're gonna finish it off. Swanton bomb. He is in complete control. Try and end it. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. That move has brought victory before. We're gonna finish it off. Swanton bomb. A game-ending move. Checkmate. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Kick to the midsection. Twist of fate! Can he put this one away? Two! Oh, he kicked out. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. Oh! oh an elbow to the face. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. Tell you what, this superstar doing an incredible job of turning this match around. Absolutely incredible job. Drop kick. This match may be nearing its limit. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. That will ring your bell. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. And you know what's next, guys? Twist of fate. That's lights out. You can count to 100. There's two. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, Jeff. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. This win is spreading like a wildfire. The electricity in this arena is almost palpable.